Hello everyone. So tonight we're gonna to go talk to our captain about the fate of our father. Who do you think it is this for our uncle? So we're gonna to head to station C three. We're your staff tonight and then probably wait for them if they're on a call. If they're not on a call then we'll uh, and we'll see how this goes.
Yeah, looks like we'll be everybody's at a call. Nobody's we'll standing outside. That's usually a sign. No firefighters at present. And the bays are all empty, so no one's here. So now we wait for somebody to come. Science.
I guess you were on tanker. How many of you were in tanker? I'm not gonna go over there. It's like a Chinese fire drill. Hey, Ruff. Hey, what is this? A Chinese fire drill? Everybody's coming out of tanker. Yeah, I'm. Hey, are you? What? Hi, Ruff. Hi. Can you hear me? Ruff. Yeah. Speaking about. We cannot hear you. Can you hear me now that I cleared the frog out of my throat? You must open mouth to talk. <laughs> Can you hear me now? There, there we go. go. <laughs> uh, interesting. I think I know what the problem is. Hmm. So what no, were you all on tanker? Movement. No. No. We're, we're, we're on engine five. I only saw tanker pull it. Or was that engine five I saw pulling? Am I no, going it's because we didn't reverse. Like, freaking uh, tanker cut oh, drive. You oh, okay, so you guys pulled in. Because I only saw tanker back in. No, we pulled him from the back. Um, oh. Kingsman can't drive as well. So. Well, maybe he needs to go through EVOC training again. <laughs> no, he, he just uh, he hasn't been to this station, I don't think, yet. I don't know. Mm. He's also always on Medic. There we go. Yeah. Um, Alex, how are you loving Kingsman, eh? <laughs> don't think I've met you before. Huh? You I don't have think I've met Alex. you. Yeah, you have. Okay. Maybe I'm oh, just holding forgetful. Being weird, guys, guys, wow. being weird. Wow. Not you, no, not you, the probie. Uh, probies oh. are always weird. I, I actually had to smack him today. Oh, oh god, here comes Cause he, Only one? Uh-oh. Because he decided Hello. to be the best decision. Hello, Hello Chief. Blow an air horn in my I don't ear. think I've met you before. Uh, I believe, I'm sorry. I, believe I don't think we've met, ma'am. A uh, firefighter Robert Roth or Monfort Roth. I feel like we've still met. At least no, uh, when I joined the department, your predecessor, uh, Deputy Chief Baldwin, was around. Oh, okay. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Well, I am um, glad to see you You're here today. Yeah, I came to talk to the captain, but you may want to join us when I go talk to him. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Captain, it looks like we have someone to chat with. Okay. Hello, uh, Captain. Who were, the, who were the detectives looking for me earlier? Uh, uh it was Hodge uh, and... Robinauer? And... I think. Hodge and who? Robin Hauer? Okay. Robin Hauer. All right. All right. And can I say we're forming our circle again, like always? Well, it's oh, more like a gaggle at like, the moment. Yeah, I was going to handle some things, but we like can go egg. chat with you. Yeah, if you guys don't mind, we can go, I guess we'll go to an office real quick and talk. Yeah. Come with us. Alright, you oh there you are. Yeah, just Yeah, just waiting for the captain. Um I don't know if you guys got the email or if Captain McKellar talked told you what I sent him an email about. I haven't heard anything. Okay. Um so first off, about a month ago I found out that the information I put on my application was incorrect. Um so I found out, I suspected something about a month ago. I only found out concretely about a week or two ago. And that is when I put on my application that Robert Roth was my uncle. That was incorrect. He's actually my father. Or, oh. um, and unfortunately, I have some additional news on that. Okay. Um, I don't know if you... Uh, I think the captain knows. I don't know, Chief, if you knew. Uh, my father, who used to be a firefighter in the department, was, went on a rescue mission in Afghanistan after he retired from the department. He was captured on Thanksgiving Day, uh, known to be wounded, and nobody saw him again until the 27th, 24th of December. On May 13th... Um, 
two gentlemen from the Lifeline Foundation, which were sponsoring his mission, came by the station and talked to me and uh, fire technician Davis and informed us that my father had passed away in the hospital he was born in 50, on his 50th birthday. And, yeah. Oh, that's why I was sorry, gone for... Uh, I, uh, that's why I sent an email to the captain to let him know I was going to be out of town for a little bit. I did get back just recently. And I wanted to clear the air about, like I said, I didn't know I was lying until recently. And at the time, I didn't want to tell anybody because I didn't want to besmirch my my dad. I keep on calling him my uncle half the time, but my dad's name. Um, also found out he was married. Yeah, it's sort of been a weird week. Yeah, I'm sorry, but Ross was a good man. I had a lot of appreciation for him and respect for him. Now, there is one other thing, Captain. Um, he didn't run a funeral, per se. He wanted his ashes spread with his wife, who's dead. She died when I was two, which is why that whole lie came about in the first place. He was still in the military as a pararescue man. This was right after September 11th. He was pretty much, I think he came home for three days when I was a kid, or when I was born, basically. He flew in the day before I was born and flew out the day after I was born. And my mom, I guess, was fed up with his lies and not telling what was going on and followed him, took me to Germany and followed him. And yeah, uh, she ended up dying. And the guy that saved, kept her alive long enough for him, her to die in his arms. He, he was one of the ones he went back to Afghanistan to rescue. That's why he retired from the fire department. So suddenly he had gotten word that the gentleman was in trouble and needed immediate rescue, and he did everything he could to rescue him. But I don't know if you guys know, he had a boat. I got it registered in my name. It's, he, it was actually, he told everybody it was named after his grandmother. It's actually named after my dead mom. And I want to spread their ashes on the boat. Unfortunately, the boat only hits four. Captain, I would be honored if you'd be one of the four on the boat. Yeah, no, I'll um, I'll gladly be there. Absolutely. Okay, and I do have a request. I don't know if you guys are granted, but uh, you know, the boat only fits four. Would it be possible for a sore boat to come along for anybody else who would want to attend? That I think I would need to talk with the other chiefs about to make sure it would be all right. Understandable, well, ma'am. Uh, I, I'll, I didn't uh, mean to get an answer right now. I just figured it's going to be a little bit, but I got to make arrangements and stuff still. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, well, um, I'll uh, send an email out and see what the others think in terms of that. Uh, I personally don't see an issue with it. Uh, I'm sure there might be some firefighters left as well who'd want to partake in it as well. I believe yeah. most of the people that knew my uncle are in the CSC. I know you two knew him, um, Chief Garland. Battalion Chief Matt, mm -hmm. McPaul, and Dodd, I believe. And I think all three captains knew him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the rest of the department pretty much would be Morgan and Davis. Davis will be joining me on the boat. Um, Morgan has offered to drive the boat if need be, because um, I had talked to her when we told her about the uh, my dad's death. And... Me and Davis told her about it the other day because we were worried how she would take it. Yeah, and um, if it works, Campbell, if you want to let the other chiefs know, um, I'll pay for the refuel for the SIR boat if it's used. That way the taxpayers aren't using it, um, if, you know, if it okay. helps. Okay. Yeah, I'll let them know about that. Well, I am sorry for your loss. That's Thank you, ma'am. And like I said, I do apologize for lying. Well, that wasn't something you, didn't you know. Yeah, but I didn't tell anybody soon enough, and I don't feel right about that. But I well, had it... to come to terms. Are oh, you all right? Nothing's gonna happen there. Yeah, if it's any consolation, you've been an outstanding firefighter so far, and I don't think um, anything on your application to get into this department, you know, it, it's not gonna affect your status here. Now you've 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 proven yourself. So, thank you. Well, if there's nothing else, I think I'm going to go home. I'm going to probably come back to work next week. 
Okay, you have a good one, and you know, take all the time you need. Yeah, Thank keep you. me updated. We'll do, Captain. I'll be in touch about possible dates for this. Like I said, I still got to get some other stuff organized. Sounds good. All right, take care, man. Thank you. You have a nice day. All right, I gotta take a, just a moment here and also call apparently Detective Hodge who reached out. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. This is Ziggy says on the restaurant. Are still there? You're right, Roth. Hello. Yeah. Um. Okay. So who hauled here I knows and don't he's know. Not in the department anymore. Okay then. Who's not in the department? Clark. Oh. Um. Who all knows? I know Sam is in. You know. Yep. Um, oh. There's only one here that would know be Annex. Who? Who don't know? So, Robert Roth, the former Fire Tech 51, was not my uncle. He was my father. And unfortunately, he passed away on his 50th birthday. Uh, I'm sorry. Thanks. Devon, you, you got a minute? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead Adams. So you, you mind telling? Do you know, do you mind if I ask how? I'm just curious. He was captured in Afghanistan. So when he retired, he went to rescue somebody um, that helped keep my mom alive enough so her, he could have a final word with her. That's a long story, but um, he was captured on December 24th or November 24th on Thanksgiving Day, and last seen on December 24th. And. Um, yeah, uh, they rescued him on the 13th of May, flew him into Af flew him from Afghanistan to Ramshawn Air Force Base, rushed him to Launchdale Second General Hospital because he had been shot in the leg. And the only medical treatment he received was himself, who was a, he was a critical care paramedic in the department and a PJ. So it's not like he didn't have any medical equipment, but try imagine trying to treat your own leg injury no, no, I, in a cave. No in Afghanistan with hardly any medical supplies. Needless to say, they rushed him into the OR where he died on the operating table on his 50th birthday. I'm sorry. I yeah, well, I, I probably know just how he, how he was going through more than most, but which I'm sorry, genuinely. I feel sorry for it. For yeah, your loss. Well, I don't know much about his final hours or days, but all I know is from when he left the department, basically. If, if, if it's from any of my experiences, it, anything from what I know, it's not a fun experience. I'm sorry for yeah. the loss. Thank you. Okay, Devin, you got a sec. I'm gonna yeah. be right back. Yeah. I'm. What's up? Well, good news is I'm not fired. <laughs> Did I go all right, or? Yeah, I told the chief and the captain that I, uh, I guess Captain McCullough never passed on my email to them or to anybody else. But I told the two of them about the fact that he was my father and that, um, that I had lied on my application. And But they were fine with that because they knew I didn't only told them. I just found out recently. They're going to consider my request to have a SAR boat available for the funeral. Mm -hmm. And the captain will be joining you and me and Davis on the boat, our boat, my boat. So I just want to let you know that yeah. I think I'm going to go home and go to sleep and get ready for shift on Monday. All right, well, take it easy, all right? Yeah, you trying to oh, get hurt again? I'll try not, okay? I'll be I mean, fine. you just get hurt every time I'm out of state. I guess I'm not allowed to leave state anymore. Mm -hmm. Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> I don't know, okay? It's just... <laughs> and let me guess. You took a taxi up here, didn't you, Miss Stubborn? Well, so we had to anyway go get a taxi back down to 8 to grab engine 5, so... Yeah, but... I don't know why I have been try. I really don't. <laughs> I will talk to you later. Yeah, talk to you later. Take it you easy. Give me a bunch of gray hairs. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know what's in my head for.
einfach in der We're gonna. Well, we're not going home right away. I guess we're gonna call Gimborn.
Well, um, I was driving down the road, just left station three. Deer ran out in front of me. I tried hitting my brakes. I can't you can hear you for some reason. I'm not sure. Oh, I think here. I know why. Uh, no, oh. there you go. No, I got you now. Hey, you're the deputy I, I talked to. You. The deputy I talked to the other night. Yes, sir. How are you? Well, could be better since I just right. Hit, you just my hit bike. that with your bike. Oh, yeah, geez, man. it came you out. Right? It came, oh, I'm. I think I'm fine. Uh, right. The bike, hey, I don't you, think you is You don't want an ambulance or anything. I don't think I need one. I'm not probably going to go. Right. I'm either going to try to push the bike, or I don't know if you could give give the give me. A, is there any tells on right now? I think there is. If you want one. Yeah, I'm probably going to need one. Um, we'll see if it can maybe drop me off and the bike off at my house. Um, no, I'm okay. As you can see, the front of the bike, got the motorcycle, got pretty much damaged from the deer. Co-workers. All right, man. I got a tow coming for you. You, you got a driver's license? Um, real uh, yeah, quick. sure. Cool. All right. And the bike's yours. You said it's all you know, like insured, um, registered, yep. all that good stuff. All right, cool. And uh, I'll just I'll take your information real quick. You know, I just uh, I got I'm a I'm a do a report, but that's all I got to do. So uh, there you go. I'll just get all that from you. Wonderful. All right. What's your name again? Munford Rock. How do you spell your first name? M A N R O T H. Oh, I'm sorry. M A M A N F R E D. And the last name is R O T H. Yeah, I wrecked my bike after leaving the station. I see. It's doing pretty good. All right, my man. Here's everything back for you. Uh, I just, uh, I'm going to go back over there real quick, check if the deer's dead or whatnot. Uh, and then, uh, if you want, man, you can just hang out. Uh, I'll be here, um, until okay. the unit comes. So we'll, we'll Sounds get that good. handled for you and get you back out of here. I right? haven't seen it move since, uh, since I pulled over. So it's, I would imagine. How fast were you going? If you don't mind me asking. I wasn't going that fast. I was just starting up on the, I mean, cause I just came from the outside. I was down at right, station so three. So maybe 40. 40, 50, probably. Yeah, I mean, and if I remember, I did stretch a 70, so I mean, I wasn't even close to yeah. getting full speed. No, right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So. Well, I'll take a look and uh, handle her however I got to, and we'll we'll just go from there. So but yeah, good. nah. Um, you're all good as um, as far as I am. Do you need a I am. picture of the front of the bike or anything for your report? 
no, no. Uh, just a report's going to be good. Um, and then okay. I got the deer, so I'll bring that and everything will be good. Uh, and I got all your information and everything. So um, you're not, you know, detained or anything as soon as, you know, the tow gets here and it gets to go and you're free to leave, right? Okay. I'll, I'll be here, though. So if you need any questions yeah. or anything, you can just ask me. Sounds good. All right, man. I appreciate it. That's nice. People come and go all the time. Just keep in mind the apps are always open except for Civ apps. Hello. Hello. Is it... What was that? I said, is it drivable? So I at least uh, it yeah, it should be. It might shake a little bit, which is why I didn't want to drive it home. I pulled the battery out. I can put the battery back in if you want. I just want to see, I can drive it up just a little bit to get it on the tow truck. Okay, let me stick the battery back in real quick. Okay, you should be good. It might wobble a little bit. I hit the front of deer with the front of it, so. Not like we're going too far. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm not trying to drive oh, it home. Oh, yeah.
<sighs> right? <laughs> That's how I feel right about now. The worst part is my other vehicles at a, at a friend's house. Yikes. Alrighty, let me go get the form and then you can sign it. Yeah, um, Good would it be form. possible for you to drop that off at my place? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, just okay. Just the place. That's going to be near Postal 500. Uh, I don't suppose I could ride with you. You can ride with me. Thank you. Uh, Deputy, is there any or get warning? Is there anything you want from me? Um, no, ma'am. Is there anything you need from me? Oh. Wonderful. Yeah, no, I'm not impounding it or anything, so he's all yours. Okay. Have a nice day. Wonderful. Have a good one, guys. See ya. Thank you. I, I just set it on a GPS. Has it been a busy night for you guys? It's been not as busy as it was last night, though. Yeah. We got, we got one of our tow trucks stolen by someone, so last night. Uh, I heard an engine got stolen as well last night. <laughs> yeah. Engine got stolen right by our uh, tow company. Yeah, cause uh, cause they they have engine five up here in the county, which we almost never do tonight. Yeah. I'm actually a firefighter with the uh, San Andreas Fire and Rescue. I don't think I've met you on the scene yet, though. Mm. Name's Mumford Roth. Nice to meet you, Montana King. Yeah, nice to meet you. We actually have a Montana in our department, too. Really? Yeah. I've noticed Montana's not really a rare name. It used to be. Yeah, uh... I'm gonna have to ask my friend, friend about that. Turning up your voice box just a slight. A little bit quiet there. Uh, is this a little bit better? Yeah, yeah there you go. Uh, these diesel trucks make a lot of noise, so sometimes you got to speak up a little bit. Yeah, I just sent a message for my friend because, uh, yeah, there's a firefighter in Montana as well. That's a little, and that's not exactly like you said, a common name. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe you guys are related. Really, uh, common name I've noticed, so. Yeah. So, you new to the state, or? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Yeah, I'm not that. I haven't been around that long. I've only been around for about uh, three, four months now. I moved in, moved up here in uh, January. Yeah. I moved from here to, from Texas. I'm born and raised up in Texas. Yeah, Pennsylvania, born and bred. Well, that's not quite true. That's what I thought for most of my life. I was actually born in Florida, but that's a long story. Born in Florida. Yeah, in an Air Force base. But I don't remember any of that. Yeah, I used to be a law enforcement officer. <laughs> now I'm working for a tow company. Oh! 
What law enforcement agency did you used to work with? I used to be a state trooper up in uh, Texas. Ah. Uh, years. Did you apply for this? Did you apply for the state troopers when they were? I think they were. They're still hiring or have apps open right now. Applications open. Not yet. Yeah, been. I thought about it. Ah. Uh, I don't think the game warden wanted to follow you any longer. <laughs> I don't think either. My truck's kind of slow. Yeah, especially with a load on the back. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get down to Station 8 to get my other vehicle. And then I gotta figure out a place where to get this damn thing fixed. Yeah. Or disorder the parts myself and try to fix it. I grew up on a farm. Okay, then yeah, you, you're good then. And I've done all the maintenance on that bike my whole life, so... Uh, but worst case, I can always take it. I think there's a Hayes motorcycle shop. I, I don't think I want to take it to some place that works on cars and motorcycles. I think I'd rather take it to a uh, motorcycle specialized shop. But... I'm following this game warden now. Yep. See, that's why I like driving a motorcycle, because you don't have to stick in traffic as often. So I guess I'm back to driving my hum Humvee. Oh, a Humvee. Yeah, I got a surplus hum Humver Hummer. I want to get it painted at some point in time. Uh, right now it's just desert tan, but... That's why I'm just having it towed to my place, because if I need to take it somewhere else, I can load it into the Humvee and uh, drive it to wherever it needs to go. So, and since I don't know where it needs to go yet, or if I, if I can try fixing it myself, then that'll be what I'll do. But. Yeah, I would say you can bring it down to Wii Toad, but we don't really have mechanics on. It's just tow truck drivers. Yeah, well, I suspect... I suspect I'm going to need parts for it anyways. I'm probably going to have to order a new front end and uh, stuff. So I think I'm going to pull it apart when I get home and see what parts need to be ordered and order those first. Yeah. Well, how did you manage to hit a deer on a bike? Well, I had just left Station 3 and was driving down the road. And next thing I know, the deer was uh, hit me. And uh, yeah, and there was blood over my motorcycle. Didn't drop the bike or anything at this. I mean, I guess this bike's built pretty tough because. Oh, yeah. I didn't even call the fire department. Surprising. Surprising, you know, break more on the bike. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I think the front end's ruined. I think the, the whole front end's gonna need to be replaced. I may end up just getting a new bike too, depending on how much it's gonna cost. The only thing I hate doing is fixing a bike sometimes, especially how expensive things are nowadays. Yeah, that's why I wanna. That's why I wanna see what's gonna, what's gonna be required and then uh, get it fixed. So you may not want to pull directly in the driveway. When you get to that place, you may want to pull off to the side and then either back up a little bit or just that, and I'll push it up the driveway. Yeah, this is going to be a turn right here. It's nice and secluded here, no neighbors. Hey, peace and quiet, you and the nature? Maybe yeah, the, just, the only neighbors are, the, are in the graveyard, so... This is where I sound, but if you want to pull off to the left here, I don't think you want to try backing up that driveway with the tow truck. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> 
I already do too yep. much already. I'll try to be nice and go as far as possible for you. Uh, much work. I think a tow truck driver is already enough for me. <laughs> so. Thank you. You said I, you had some paperwork for me to sign? Oh, yeah. Thanks. You're making me do my job correctly. <laughs> don't forget about the paperwork. You have to... Mm, I bet your bosses don't like that. So? There you go. Just sign here. There you go. Do I need right. to pay you here, or the, the, they're just going to send me a bill? I'm just going to send you a bill. Okay. Oh. Well, you have fun trying to bring that thing up the hill. So. There you go. There's a tip oh. for you. Yeah. You have fun. Oh, yeah. Okay, folks, I'm gonna end the stream there. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for coming.